As the fiery solar eclipse graces our skies, let its energy ignite the warrior within you, my friend. It's time to embrace the celestial event as a symbol of new beginnings and bold pursuits. Are you ready for that? Let me know in the comment section if you're ready for a fresh new start in your life, in any kind of an endeavor, whatever failures you've been through, whatever fallings and breakdowns you've been through, right now is the time to break this old pattern, to break this old cycle and start up with a fresh new intention. It's time to harness the power of transformation and courage, shedding old layers to reveal your true strength, to really tap into your heart and ask yourself why you've truly come here. Like, what is that power that is guiding you? Like, all the hard moments in your life, all the breakdowns that you've been through, what was that, that strength in your heart that made you go through it? Like, maybe breakups that happened. What was that strength that made you through it? What was that strength that made you to stand up for yourself and to speak your truth? What was that strength that made you follow your dreams and passions and really turn your ideas and goals into something actual? What was that strength that made you to do something like that, something so incredible? It's time to embrace the path ahead with passion and conviction. For this eclipse marks a pivotal moment in your journey and many of you are feeling it right now. So embrace the solar eclipse in Aries and let its radiant energy propel you towards your brightest aspirations. How many of you are resonating with this energy right now? How many of you feel it? I want you to write in the comment section, I'm ready for a fresh new start. I'm ready for a new beginning. If you feel this, let me know. So today I wrote this inspiring message um, that I will share with you right now, just to know how to start, right? I wrote down for our Instagram community, you have to commit to getting up early and taking care of your mind with new helpful information, your body with revitalizing exercise and your spirit with connection and quietness so you can hear it. You have to be honest with yourself and reevaluate your priorities. Nobody is going to do it for you. These are your goals, your dreams. Everything you want starts and ends with you. So if this resonates, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and we'll go further. I want to give you eight reminders for this solar eclipse. What is happening right now? And many of these things you've experienced and you may be like, what's going on? Like why old people, like people from my old life are coming back <laughs> into this time? Like what's happening? But uh, many of all these uh, old karmic um, relationships are ending during this time. So you may experience like people from your old life are coming back completely spontaneously and you may get into conversations, you may feel some old fears, maybe some old triggers, but as you go into a conversation you recognize you are a new person, that guy or woman is a new person and maybe a certain revelation happened, maybe you've kind of, you know, got to the bottom of everything and you got some more clarity, right? So the first thing you may notice during this time is that healing, it's, it's a great time for healing relationship issues. Like if you find yourself being in a maybe challenging relationship right now, it's not about escaping it, it's not about suppressing it, it's not about ignoring it, it's about sitting down and having deep, honest conversations. It's very supported right now, so you may feel like even events may turn out the way that uh, you will be able to go into deep conversations, maybe with your partner, maybe with your parents, maybe with a friend of yours, maybe with uh, your boss or your co-workers. Whatever is the situation for you, 
use it for healing use it to deepen relationships use it to to find certain clarity or maybe even closure maybe events will turn out by itself you know there's something you can do and there's also something that the universe is doing for you so sometimes when you don't know, when you don't know what to do surrender it like let go of the need to control situations and just see how it is unfolding and when opportunity comes up boldly step into it like sometimes you will feel like i don't want to do that i I, i'm afraid like i don't know what to say but if an opportunity appears grab it and go into it and see what will come out many times you will be just surprised because you will notice that actually you're so much braver than you thought that you are and also that other person was most probably not so maybe so negatively oriented towards yourself than you thought he or she was but um, you need closure right you need clarity so use this kind of um, events that will unfold in your life for the greatest possible breakthrough the second reminder is to that it's time for breaking toxic cycles with others and yourself so it comes to habits it comes to what kind of people we surround ourselves with and it also comes to what we are tolerating in relationships like if you find out someone is constantly toxically abusing you or constantly you know suppressing you pushing you down pushing you away or any however you will you know experience it notice it and set some powerful boundaries here say to yourself i don't tolerate any bullshit anymore you can write it in the comment section i don't tolerate this anymore like i don't tolerate any bullshit anymore like i'm ready to move on and if i want to move on i can't be the same person anymore i can't treat things same way anymore and i can't tolerate same things anymore the biggest difference from people who are thriving and people who are feeling stuck and miserable is that those who are thriving stopped tolerating what is not in alignment with their highest possible vision for what they deserve so have a vision for what you know that you deserve and then stop tolerating anything that is not in alignment with that vision doesn't matter what it takes to achieve that also for yourself stop tolerating not having successful habits stop tolerating not having a prosperous outlook on life stop tolerating not taking time for yourself and awakening gratitude for things that you have stop tolerating being unorganized stop tolerating not following your dreams stop tolerating not being kind towards yourself you see if you really take time right now and ask yourself how frequently you really manage to shift your inner dialogue that's constantly playing in your mind like your inner talk self-talk when was the last time you've started upgrading it right because you've been growing up around people that have certain way of thinking certain way of talking and you've adopted their voices their thoughts most of your thoughts are not yours but this inner talk inner critic inner self-talk that you have is the product of what you've been surrounded with right and when you want to experience a change well firstly you need to recognize that most of your behaviors are actually a reflection of that inner conversation and if you're not upgrading it you can't expect changes changes and one really powerful way to upgrade it is to upgrade your mind with new information that's why i always say to start a day with a good book start a day maybe with a podcast or with some inspiring information maybe start a day with attract passion <laughs> uh, and and be inspired but then do something with it if you don't put information into action information will be just entertainment right and in your mind will only stay what's what's consistently repeated so start repeating new information read reread books like sometimes i'm rereading old books because i've forgotten something sometimes i knew like i know that um 
somewhere in the past, maybe I was more productive about this or maybe I was more clear about this and I need to reread some old books so go and do this this is a perfect time you know this solar eclipse is a perfect time for you to reorganize your mind and reflect on these old dialogues that you have with yourself and see if they require an improvement an upgrade if your self-talk could be a bit of a higher frequency because self-worth comes from self-talk right very powerful thing you can do so break this uh, old toxic cycles that you have with yourself then the third reminder is to turning heartbreaks into wisdom this is very powerful like if you've been recently through a certain uh, breakup or maybe you've lost a job or maybe you've lost some money whatever happened that maybe broken your heart this is a great time to reflect on it to meditate on it like take some time like maybe one hour and just sit in quietness even if it's hard because your mind don't want to shut off like how often you experience like you sit down and your mind just don't want to shut off well sit down and just let your mind to wander until at some point it will just quit like if you persist, let's say if your spirit persists, your mind will quit. If your spirit quit, your mind will persist. So where do you want to stay in your spirit or in your mind? This is how meditation works. Like meditation is not just some chant chanting and you know visualizing something. It's it's being in the spirit, being yourself and allowing your mind to quit because you're the servant of it. Don't allow you to be the servant of your mind, right? That's how we will turn heartbreaks into wisdom because during this time and during this solar eclipse, very powerful energy, you will experience a lot of clarity. You will experience insights and downloads if you allow yourself to be a bit more in quietness. Me, right now I, I went on a solo trip during this time because I felt I need to be alone. I felt I need to travel a little bit and I need to be with myself. So do something like that as well. You will see that it will serve you in a, in a really great positive way. The fourth reminder is to awaken warrior spirit. You've come here to be a warrior of light. You've come here to be a warrior of wisdom, a warrior of justice, a warrior of love, a warrior of creativity, a warrior of playfulness, to bring back this childlike playfulness. Do you feel that? Let me know if you feel that. <laughs> Write in the comment section if you feel like I am a warrior spirit. I am awakening a warrior spirit because you deserve that. Like it's not something that happens, you know? If you've been trained to live in survival, you 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 don't know how to be a warrior. To be a warrior means that you stand up for your rights, you stand up for your power, you stand up for your dreams and goals, you wake up and you say to yourself, well, I deserve to achieve whatever I choose to achieve and I will not stop, I will not quit until I get there, right? So whatever is the, your goal, maybe it's just feeling more love, maybe it's just feeling more connection with life, doesn't matter how my environment may be toxic right now, how people around me may be toxic, I will find that connection and I will say goodbye to anything that is not helping me to achieve that. Sometimes it takes years, like that's why we have just, you know, this solar eclipse of this year and it's quite rare one. So there are cycles in everything, the same as there are cycles in your evolution. So when it feels like your wanting future is years ahead of you, it's completely fine. Go after it. Like, just do it. The fifth reminder for this solar eclipse is that it's time to close the old to make space for the new. It's time to close the old to make space for the new. So see what is not working anymore. Like you will be noticing during this time that so many things you've been doing until now, certain things are just not sparking that fire anymore. Like sometimes we may notice maybe my job is not 
what I wanted. Maybe, you know, for such a long time, I've been just pleasing others and now I, I want to do it for me. I want to do it for me. Maybe your relationship is not just anymore what it was. Maybe it's not, you know, a job to end it, but to deepen it, to strengthen it. Whatever it is, it's time to close the old chapters so we can make space for new. So how can you make space for new things? Well, firstly, you need to identify what is not bringing any meaning into your life anymore. In our recent live stream, we've been talking a lot of about these practical steps that can be very helpful, identifying what brings meaning to your life and identifying what doesn't bring meaning to your life. So you can be more intentional in your life, like you can organize yourself the way that you really decide what you want to do more of. And it's just clarity. But that clarity can't arise out of nowhere. It's not like, oh, there's new moon and you will feel clearly about what you what you're truly valuing and uh, what is really meaningful to you. It's, it's more about taking time and using these universal energies that are supporting you to write down what is meaningful to you. Write down how you want to evolve in these new upcoming chapters. Write down in what kind of character you're evolving in that story of your life, like who you are as a warrior, who you are as a being, who you are as a soul and who you are also as human, like awaken some humanness in you and see how it could be expressed. That's how you start writing a new story. The sixth reminder is that it's time to release what's poisonous and inviting more love into your life. Maybe even more beauty, maybe even more peace, maybe even more happiness. What's being poisonous in your life? Like certain food, certain thoughts, certain beliefs, certain people, certain, I don't know, social media accounts, <laughs> whatever you will find being poisonous. What would happen if you would live without these things? And for what you would replace it? Because sometimes when we quit doing something, we have, we just have to replace it. Because if you quit it, you will soon get back to what's familiar. But if you replace it, you will slowly adapt yourself to that new thing. So you need to understand that as long as you're consuming poison in your mind, in your body, in your spirit, you can't feel as the greatest possible version of yourself doesn't matter what it is like sometimes you may feel like um, you want to lose weights or you want to become more beautiful or you want to do whatever kinds of things for others so other people will like you it's it's poison because you've been taught to believe that you are not good enough so you don't feel whole within your whole within your own body and that's why you want to change that. It's completely fine if you want to lose weight. Like, it's wonderful. It's incredible. But it's the reason behind it, right? It's the reason why we're doing it. So do it for yourself. Always do it because you want to purify your energy. You want to do it because you just want to be the greatest possible version of yourself. Do it because you want to be the highest possible expression of yourself. And sometimes it's just, you know, your self-talk once again that is kind of pulling you out and making you feel like um, you don't deserve it or you, you need to do it for others. It's all a poison. So make sure that your self-talk will be reflection of the highest possible health that you can embody. And invite more love into your life. Like open up, open up your heart. See how that flower of your heart opens up. And how can you feel more of it? Like how can you demonstrate more of it? What would it take in your life to feel more of it? To do more of what you love? To bring more peace into your life? To bring more harmony into your life? To bring more responsibility into your life? To bring more courage for challenges into your life? What would it take? What would it take? Take a piece of paper and write down what would it take for me to demonstrate more courage? Would it be to stand up at my job to tell my boss what I mean? <laughs> or whatever it is, right? Of course, be also ready for consequences. 
sometimes speaking your truth will bring many consequences so also be prepared for that the seventh reminder is that something i've mentioned at the beginning karmic meetings and fated goodbyes so it basically means that during this solar eclipse many people from your old life like for certain people you haven't forgiven if uh, they're still alive may just appear in your life and you may be like what that person is doing here but what's happening you know you've grown up maybe and that person has grown up and and you're different people now and maybe something emotional may be released just you know observe and um, and you know witness everything be a part of it but don't react to it like if you really want to heal these karmic patterns you just need to observe move through them and be a bit more aware like you know notice that even if certain emotional reactions may happen due to some old fears know that you're wiser now and and just navigate yourself through the process through the conversation and and just observe what happens you may be amazed because you know sometimes people really change and yeah that may amaze you and the last reminder is to notice that many unexpected shakeups and redirections will be unfolding in your life so it means again that there are certain maybe you know parts of you that want to stay in the old that want to stay in the comfort and the universe will shake you up a little bit because you deserve so much more and you're here for so much more like what you've been doing for many years may not be serving you anymore but you're still holding on to it because that's what you're familiar with that's what you're used doing and this time may shake you up a little bit and open you up for new things but firstly usually breakdown needs to happen breakdown often is required for a breakthrough so if a certain breakdown is happening in your life right now see it actually as a transitioning phase into a new direction redirection is happening in your life in certain parts of your life so open them open up with gratitude for them like don't judge yourself don't blame whatever happened for the breakdown but just you know stretch your heart in gratitude right now find things to appreciate look back into your past and find things to appreciate and also look back into your past and find things to be proud of recognize what makes you proud of because it will raise your frequency and from that level you will be able to perceive these moments with such a more powerful strength you will be reminded that you've done this before and you can do it one more time so i hope you found great value in today's video of course today i'm sharing with you painting the sun have you noticed how interesting nature is that the moon appears in the equal size of the sun even though the sun is way 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 bigger have you noticed how everything in nature is perfectly designed and during this kind of solar eclipses we notice this kind of perfection of nature that's how you can know that this wise source intelligent source that has created everything is also taking care of you is also guiding you is also has also designed a plan for you and sometimes you just need to surrender to it so my friends be intentional during this time and let go of the old till next time one love hey my friends i hope you've enjoyed in today's video i want to remind you that we've just opened a fresh new store called attractpassion.com where you can find all of my work original paintings you can find prints of all of my art in different sizes so go there and check it out attractpassion.com if you will use the code passion15 passion15 you will get 15 off onto your first order 
So go there and check it out. And to anyone who would love to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, I'm offering one-on-one -on -one coaching. We have some free spots once again. You can go and check out the link in the description of this video where you can find everything there. So go and check it out. If you would like to do something with the inspiration that you feel right now, it will help you so much to transform your life. I want you to do something with it. If you feel inspired, you have to do something with it. So my friends, till next time, one love.